This tutorial is for 5th grade, Module 6, Lesson 8. In this lesson, we're going to continue looking at patterns on the coordinate plane. The directions say to create a table of three values that you can plot on the graph. Each y-coordinate needs to be three more than its corresponding x-coordinate. So we need to come up with ordered pairs such that the second coordinate, the y-coordinate, is three more than the x-coordinate, and it has to fit on our graph. So if I say that my x-coordinate is going to be three, then the y-coordinate would have to be six, because six is three more than three. I could also say that my x-coordinate is five, and three more than five would be eight. So that would be the ordered pair for that one. And let's do one more. Let's see, I can get 8 for my x-coordinate and 11 for my y-coordinate because 11 is 3 more than 8. Next, it tells us to plot each point on the coordinate plane. So we'll plot 3, 6. I'm going to go over 3 and up 6. And then I'll plot 5, 8 over 5, up 8. And I'll plot 8, 11 over 8 and all the way up to the top for 11. And now we're going to use a straight edge to draw a line connecting these points. The next directions say to give coordinates of two other points that would fall on the line that we just drew. And the points have to have at least one coordinate greater than 11. So what we're doing is we're finding points that would fall on the line if that line were extended beyond this graph because one coordinate has to be greater than 11. So the pattern then is that the Y coordinate is three more than the X. So it doesn't matter what points I choose as long as they follow that pattern. So let's see, let's just choose, I could choose um, 20 for my X coordinate. And I know then that the Y coordinate needs to be three more than that. So the Y would be 23. Or I could choose 15 for my x-coordinate. That would make the y-coordinate 18 because it's 3 more than 15. So if we were able to extend the line that we drew, these two points would also fall on that line. Here I have a new graph. This time we're going to create a table of five values for x and y such that each y-coordinate is one more than three times as much as the corresponding x-coordinate. So let's just choose a number for x, and then we'll follow this pattern. So I'm going to choose 2 for x. So y needs to be 1 more than 3 times that value. Well, 3 times 2 is 6. 1 more than that is 7. So the coordinate pair would be 2, 7. Let's choose another one. Let's choose 4 for the x. Well, 3 times 4 is 12. 1 more than that would be 13. So we'll do 4, 13. Uh, let's do another one. Let's try 5. So 3 times 5 is 15. One more than that would be 16. So that would be 5, 16. Let's do 6. So 3 times 6 is 18. One more than that is 19. So that would be 6, 19. Let's see, I don't think I'm going to be able to do 7 because that's going to take me off the grid. So let's go back. Let's go back to 3. Let's try 3. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 more would be 10. So that would be 3, 10. Okay, now we're going to plot these points on the grid. So first off, I'm going to do 2, 7. So I'm going to go over 2, up 7. And then 4, 13, over 4, up 13, and 5, 16. So over 5, up 16, 6, 19. So over 6, up 19. And then we're going to go back and get that 3, 10. So we have over 3 and up 10. And now we will connect these points with a line. And there's my line. 
For our final question, we're going to give coordinates of two other points that would fall on this line with at least one coordinate greater than 12. So again, just like we did in the question before, we're going to follow the pattern of the XY coordinates to predict other points that the line would cross if we were able to extend the line. And the pattern is that the Y coordinate is one more than three times as much as the X coordinate. So I'm just going to choose an X coordinate. Uh, let's see. Well, we said that seven was going to be too big. It would be off the grid. So let's do seven. Seven times three is 21 plus one more would be 22. And then we could choose eight for the next one. Eight times three is 24 plus one more would be 25. So again, if we were able to extend this graph, these points would also fall on that line. So more patterns here on our coordinate plane.